Hello once again, dear viewers, to another episode of the Sang Quiz 2019, brought to you by Doot Darshan Kendra Shalom, in collaboration with the Meghalaya AIDS Control Society. Welcome back, dear viewers, to the Sang Panyar Quiz 2019 brought to you by Dood Darshan Kendra Shillong in collaboration with the Meghalaya AIDS Control Society. This episode is going to be the last knockout episode and one last team is going to move forward to the semi-finals. So let's see which team is going to be lucky enough to proceed to the next round. So let's meet our three new teams. Starting it off with Team A. My name is Nigel Rickfield Kurba. I'm from Plaston and presenting school Meghalaya Police Public School. My name is Milam Bansan Marbanyang. I'm from Class 10. I'm re representing Meghalaya Police Public School. Team A, Meghalaya Police Public School, all the best to you. Team B. My name is Ivan Telang Hojan. I am studying in Class 11 Arts and I'm representing from Laban Presbyterian High Secondary School. My name is Albert Sandigdo and I'm from Laban Presbyterian High Secondary School. Team B, Laban Presbyterian High Secondary School, all the very best to you. Last but not the least, Team C. My name is Bendik John Kimauri. I'm from Class 6 and I'm representing. St. Francis DCS Secondary School, like you My name is Devi Ban Lago Kalang. I am from Class 9 and I represent St. Francis DCS School. Team C, St. Francis, all the very best to you and I wish all the best to all the three teams. So let's begin with our quiz today. So we're going to start off with round one. Before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked two questions. Questions will pass during this round. 20 points for correctly answering a direct question and 5 points for correctly answering a past question. 10 seconds to answer a direct and 5 seconds to answer a past question. Good news, there will be no negative marks in this round. Are the rules clear? Yes, sir. Okay, then let's begin. The first question of today's quiz is for Team A, MPPS. Listen carefully. How long can the whole blood be stored safely in the blood banks? How long can whole blood be stored safely in blood banks? Eight years. Eight years. That's the incorrect answer. Moves on to team B. Twelve years. Twelve years. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. Moves on to team C. You're not giving me an answer? Well, blood doesn't have that long of a shelf life, okay? It's just... 35 days, 35 days, so no points there team A, moving on now this is a direct question for team B, Laban Presbyterian, listen carefully, who are professional blood donors, who are professional blood donors, remember there are no negative marks here, Okay, it passes on to Team C. Give it a try. Team A. A blood transplanters. Blood transplanters. Blood transplanters are professional blood donors. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. So, Team C. Professional blood donors. That should have been the clue for you. Donation of blood in exchange for money. Okay, so people who donate blood in exchange for money are known as professional blood donors. So no points there. Now this is a direct question for Team C. St. Francis Lutkor, listen carefully. When is World Blood Donors Day celebrated? When is World Blood Donors Day celebrated? Very simple question. Okay, moves on to Team A. 1st December. 1st December. I think you confuse, you are confused with the dates. That's not the right answer. Team B. 5th of June. 5th of June. That's World Environment Day. That's the incorrect answer. Team C, the answer I'm looking for is 14th of June. Okay, 14th of June is World Blood Donors Day. Now this is the second direct question for Team A. Listen carefully. It's an abbreviation. 
I want you to give me the full form of RRC. RRC. It moves on to team B. Give it a try. Okay, nonetheless moves on to team C. Give it a try. Like I said, there are no negative points. Okay, so the right answer team A is the Red Ribbon Club, RRC. Red Ribbon Club. It is a movement started by the government of India in schools and colleges through which students will spread awareness about HIV AIDS. <coughs> so you missed your chance there team A. Moving on, now this is a direct question for team B, Laban Presbyterian. Listen carefully. When is National Voluntary Blood Donation Day celebrated? When is National Voluntary Blood Donation Day celebrated? 10 seconds. Team C. Team A. 26th April. 26th of April. That's not the right answer I'm looking for. The answer is the 1st of October. Okay, 1st of October is the National Voluntary Blood Donation Day. Alright, so now this is a direct question for Team C. Okay, Team C, this is your second direct question. Give me the full form of TTI. TTI. Give it a guess. This is a very, very easy question in fact. If you prepared with uh, HIV AIDS awareness, team A. Test tube infection. Test tube infection. Nice try, <laughs> but that's not the right answer. Team B. The right answer, team C, is transfusion transmitted infections, TTI. Through trans transfusions, okay? So, it seems none of the teams prepared themselves for the HIV awareness round. What happened? So, anyways, no problem. There are three more rounds. So, with that, we've come to the end of round one. Alright, HIV awareness round. So, from this round on, it'll all be based on general knowledge. So, I hope you can cover up. So, let's begin now with our second round, which is going to be a round on audio-visual. So before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked one audio-visual question. Questions will pass during this round. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a past question. 20 points for correctly answering a direct and 10 points for correctly answering a pass. Minus 5 points for an incorrect answer. So be very careful here. Okay, are the rules clear? Yes, sir. Alright then, the first question again. In this round is for team A, MPPS, and it is a picture. So have a look at the picture and then I'll ask you your question. This is a Google Doodle released this year, which was designed by India-born Copenhagen-based guest artist Shevalini Kumar. Why is it special? This has been in the news, this is current affairs in fact. This is a Google Doodle released this year, designed by India-born, Copenhagen-based guest artist Shevalini, Shevalini Kumar. Why is it special? Do you have an answer? You're passing it, so it moves on to team B. It is special because uh, there in the picture it is the national animal of India, then the national bird. No, the okay, they are there, but why is it special? So. I have to give you minus points because you've given an answer which is incorrect. So moves on now to team C. You have an answer? You all use Google every day, so I think you should have come across this. <coughs> so no points to any teams. This is a Google Doodle release on the occasion of India's Independence Day. This year's Independence Day 2019 Google Doodle release this. Okay? So Tough luck team A, no points there. Moving on. Now this is a direct question for team B. <coughs> Laban Presbyterian. It's a video. Look at the video carefully and I'll ask you your question.
Team B, you saw the video. This is your question. It is part of the coastline of Kent in England at the point where Great Britain is closest to continental Europe. On a clear day, they are visible from the French coast. They are made from chalk, a soft, white, very finely grained pure limestone and are commonly 300 to 400 meters deep. The chalk layers built up gradually over millions of years. Name this famous geological site. What you just saw just now. Name this famous geological site located in England. This is a basic geography question. Moves on to team C. Five seconds. Okay, moves on to team A. Possible. You're not going to attempt it? Okay, so the right answer is the White Cliffs of Dover. Okay, these are the White Cliffs of Dover. Very famous site in England. How could you have missed it, all the teams? Now, this is a direct question for Team C. <coughs> St. Francis, Lutcourt. Again, it's a picture. Have a look at the picture and I'll ask you your question. Rabindranath Tagore loved Shillong so much that he visited it thrice, more than any other place and used it as a backdrop for his masterpiece, Shesher Kobita. The eternal tourist that Tagore was is amplified in his verse, Shilongir Chiti, or Letters from Shillong. During his first visit to Shillong, he stayed in this house, owned by then Assistant Commissioner of Chittagong Division, Mr. Kiron Chandra De. By what name do we know this house today? I want you to give me the name of this house where Rabindranath Tagore stayed the first time he visited Shillong. Team C. Very, very famous place here in Shillong. Moves on now to Team A. Pass. Passes on to Team B. The right answer I was looking for, Team C, is the Brookside Bungalow. This is the Brookside Bungalow in Railbong. So we're done with two rounds and I have with me here the score tally as it is. MPPS Team A is yet to open their account. Team B, Laban Presbyterian, has gone to the negative side and is with minus five points. And also Team C, that is uh, St. Francis, is also yet to open their account. So teams, don't be disheartened. There are two more rounds to go. So let's hope that the quiz becomes easier for you by the end, okay? So let's begin now with our third round, very entertaining round, and that is a round on Damsharats, okay? So before we begin, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be given one word or phrase to enact during this round. One team member will have to enact the word or phrase, and the other teammate must correctly guess the word or phrase in question. The teammate enacting the word or phrase must use only their body language. They are not allowed in any circumstance to use their voices or their lip movements. 60 seconds to each team to answer a question. 30 points for a correct answer. There will be no negative markings and questions will not pass during this round. Are the rules clear? Yes, sir. Alright, so let's begin with our round 3, alright? So, Team A, let's begin again with you. I invite someone, please come forward. Pick up a chip and give it to me. Let's see what your word of phrase is. Just nod your head if you understand. Okay, are you ready? 60 seconds, your time starts now search search swimming diving to all the three teams is going to be movies Bodyguard. all right movies or characters bodybuilder superman Words. These don't use to count the alphabets. Queen. Gandhi. What? Search. 
So, no points there, Team A. The character that he was trying to convey to you is Aquaman. Okay, Aquaman. So, no points there, Team A, unfortunately. So, moving on, we're going to start now with Team B, Laban Presbyterian. So, I invite someone, please come forward. Just pick up a chit and let, let me see. Not if you understand. Not, okay? So, you have 60 seconds. Team B, are you ready? Your time starts now. Ninja. Dracula. Ninja Assassin. Time's up, Team B. The name of the movie or the character that he was trying to convey to you is Black Panther. Okay? Black Panther. He acted it out beautifully but unfortunately you couldn't get uh, what he was trying to tell you. So no points there. So last but not the least, Team C. I invite someone to please come forward. And like I told the other three teams, it's going to be either movie or a character. It's going to be up to you how you convey the message to your partner. Just nod your head if you understand. Okay? So, you have 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Sun. Sky. Come on, Man. keep on guessing, keep on guessing, no negative points. Time's up Team C. The name of the movie is Godfather, the Godfather. You see, she was praying, she was showing you that she's praying. The name of the movie is Godfather. So no points there, Team C, unfortunately. <coughs> so none of the teams scored in round three, unfortunately. Very sad. So let's move on now to our fourth and final round. I hope that this round is going to change the luck of uh, one of you, one of your teams. All right. So this is going to be a rapid fire round. All right. So before we begin with round four, let me explain to you the rules. Each team will be asked a series of questions. Each team will be given 50 seconds. Not 40, 50 seconds to answer all the questions. 10 points for a correct answer. Minus 5 points for an incorrect answer. If a team does not know an answer to a question, say pass and I'll move on to the next question and shall come back to the past question if there's sufficient time left. Simple rules. Are you, are you okay with that? All right. So let's begin. The first series of questions is for Team A. Meghalaya Police Public School, 50 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Your time starts now. If yellow is the most common color for taxis in India, then what is the most common for London? Pass. The famous Pushkar Mela is held in which Indian state? Pass. There is 
the use of a red card in billiards. Pass. Headquarters of Food and Agricultural Organization is in which city? Pass. The only state in India to produce saffron. Pass. Which gas is known as laughing gas? Helium. Helium. That is incorrect. Minus points. If yellow is the most common color for taxis in India, then what is most common for London? Pass. The famous Pushkar Mela is held in which Indian state? Rajasthan. 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 Yes, that's the correct answer. So, let me give you the answers to the to the other questions. If yellow is the most common color for taxis in India, then what is the most common color for taxis in London? It's black. Okay. The famous Pushkar Mela, I think you've read about this in your lower classes, is held in which Indian state? Yes, it's Rajasthan. There is the use of a red card in billiards. Red card in billiards? Do you think so? Actually, it is. There is a use of red card in billiards, okay? Headquarters of Food and Agricultural Organization is in which city? It's Rome. The only state to produce saffron or zafran, which is a spice, is Jammu and Kashmir. And which gas is known as laughing gas? It's not helium, it's nitrous oxide. Okay? So team A, we're done with your questions. Moving on now, this is a series of questions for team B. Laban Presbyterian, are you ready? Yes, sir. 50 seconds. Your time starts now. Which is the only bird to have its nose at the end of its beak? Pass. If a film gets a U rating certificate in India, what minimum age can view the film if it gets a U rating? Pass. The layer of the earth immediately below the crust is called what? Core. Cool. That is incorrect. Minus points. India is not a member of the nuclear suppliers group. True or false? Pass. Which is the only bird to have two toes on each foot? Pass. Two great Mughal emperors wrote their own biographies or autobiographies, sorry. One was Babur, who was the other? Pass. Which is the only bird to have its nose at the end of its beak? So, we're done with team B. Let me give you the answers. Which is the only bird to have its nose at the end of its beak? It's the kiwi. Okay, its nose is at, it's, it's at the end of its beak. If a film gets a U rating certificate in India, what minimum age can view the film? U. When you watch movies, you see that at the beginning they give ratings U or PG. Alright? So U is everyone, universal. It's for everyone, okay? Everyone irrespective of age can watch the movie. The layer of the earth immediately below the crust is called what? It's not called the core, it's called the outer mantle. You have the crust, the mantle, then the core. India is not a member of the nuclear suppliers group. This has been in the news. If you've read the news, I think you would be able to answer this. It's true. India is not a member. Which is the only bird to have two toes on each foot? The ostrich. Okay, ostrich. All other birds, they have three or four toes. Two great Mughal emperors wrote their own autobiographies. One was Babur. He wrote Babur Nama. Who was the other? Jahangir. Okay, Jahangir. So we're done with team B. Moving on now, the last series of questions in today's quiz and it's for team C St. Francis. Are you ready? Yes. 50 seconds. Your time starts now. Which spice is called cilantro in Spanish? In Twitter, what do the letters RT stand for? What would you enter through the Sirhi Darwaza named after Sirhindi Begum? Pass. The headquarters of UNESCO is in which city? Pass. 120 by 80 is considered to be normal blood pressure. True or false? Pass. Name one state that has a bicameral legislature. Two houses. Which spice is called cilantro in Spanish? Pass. In Twitter, what do the letters RT stand for? Time's up. Alright, so team C, let me give you the answers to the questions. Which spice is called cilantro in Spanish? Dhania, coriander. Okay, coriander is known as cilantro in Spanish. 
In Twitter, what do the letters RT stand for? If you use your logic, you'll be able to answer RT. Retweet. Because it's Twitter, so you tweet. So RT, retweet. What would you enter through the Sirhi Darwaza named after Sirhindi Begum? The Taj Mahal. Because you have to enter through the Sirhi Darwaza, then you reach the Taj Mahal. Okay? Headquarters of UNESCO is in which city? Again, this was in the news. It's in Paris. 120 by 80. I think this is a very easy question. Is considered to be normal blood pressure? Yes, it is. It's true. And name one state that has a bicameral legislature. Bicameral means there are two houses in the legislature. Okay? So you could have given me any one name and I would have accepted it. There are a few states. Let me give you the names. Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, the erstwhile Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Telangana and Uttar Pradesh. These are the states that have two houses. They have a bicameral legislature. Teams, we're done with all the four rounds of the quiz today and I have with me here the final score tally. In third place is Team B, Laban Presbyterian, unfortunately with minus 10 points. Second place is St. Francis Lankor, who could not open their account. And the winners of today moving on by luck or by margin, I would say, is Team A with five points. So, dear viewers, we're done with our final knockout round. The next episode is going to be the semi-finals. So, we're very excited. And until we meet again next time, this is your quiz master signing off. Thank you.